I landed the first job I applied to and I didn't land it because I had a fancy college degree. I still don't. Or because my editing skills blew anybody's minds. I landed that job because I had one shot at the end of my reel that had some motion graphics. Welcome back to another video. In today's video, I wanna talk about why if you're an editor, you've got to make this year the year that you finally get serious about learning After Effects and why you can no longer put this off. Let me explain. Do you know what this is? This is a stack of job listings for video editors. And can you guess what one unexpected thing these job listings all have in common? They all list Adobe After Effects as a preferred skill. Experience with Adobe After Effects is helpful. Experience with Adobe Creative Suite, After Effects. Experience and proficiency, Premiere and After Effects. Knowledge of video editing software, including Premiere and After Effects. Adobe After Effects, Preferred, After Effects, After Effects, and After Effects, After Effects, After Effects, After Effects, After Effects, After Effects, After Effects. After Effects, After Effects, After Effects, After Effects, After Effects. I think it's pretty apparent that if you're a video editor, you can no longer put off learning After Effects. If you don't have any experience with After Effects, you better hope that nobody competing with you for those editing jobs does either or else they're going to be the ones sticking out instead of you listen i completely understand how intimidating after effects can be it's why i started this channel you might have even attempted to learn it before but became overwhelmed by it it's tricky to know where to start as you try to string together a semi-coherent education from youtube videos fortunately i've been there so I have three key concepts to share with you as you make your plunge into After Effects this coming year. First, when you compare the layouts of both programs, there are two similarities that will jump out right away. The project panel, where you store all your assets, and the timeline along the bottom. However, you'll notice that there is no source monitor in After Effects. That is because After Effects does not have the source monitor as part of its default layout. To access the source monitor, just double click on a clip and the source monitor will replace the main program window called the composition panel, but more on that in a minute. From here, you can extract the portion of the clip just like you would in Premiere that you wanna use in your timeline. Number two, what is the first thing you do before making any kind of edit in Premiere? You must first create a sequence. A sequence describes things like your frame rate, your resolution, and your pixel aspect ratio, among many other things. In After Effects, the equivalent to a sequence is called a composition. Like sequences, compositions describe the resolution and the frame rate of your video, among other things. And creating a new composition is always the first step to creating anything in After Effects. However, there is one key difference between sequences and compositions, and that is, unlike a sequence, compositions have a fixed duration. Of course, you can always change the length of a composition, but unlike sequences which extend automatically when you add clips to the end of your timeline, compositions must be extended manually. Third, the timeline. The timeline is different than in Premiere, unlike what you may have heard. And then at the bottom, you've got your timeline. Just like video editing, it's gonna work exactly the same. Just like video editing, it's just like video editing, it's just like video editing, it's gonna work exactly the same. No, that is just not true. It is not exactly the same. In fact, there are a lot of really big differences. For example, in Premiere, your timeline is made up of video tracks that can have multiple clips laid side by side. Then you can layer tracks on top of one another. In After Effects, every clip, image, audio file, or graphic you add to your timeline will be on its own layer. So while in Premiere, these four clips are all snuggled together sequentially all on one video track, in After Effects, those same four clips 
will form a little staircase of layers. Now, here's the thing. Learning After Effects, especially if you're already an editor, is not as hard as you might think. That's why I've created a guide to After Effects for video editors. In this guide, I help you smoothly transition from Premiere to After Effects by building on what you already know and helping you to translate concepts like the three I just shared across the two programs. This guide teaches all that you need to know to start creating killer motion graphics for your edits. And by the end of this guide, not only will you have a good foundation to continue learning more advanced concepts, you'll also have some tricks up your sleeve that you can use to start impressing your clients or potential employers right away. So how can you access this guide? Head over to keyframeacademy.retrieve.com. I'll leave a link in the description for those of you who are like me and would rather just click something than perform the arduous task of typing out a full URL. I'm launching this guide today and for the first week, you can snag it for a discounted price. I think you're gonna love learning on Retrieve and let me show you a few reasons why. The first reason is the search feature and to be honest, this feature alone is kind of what sold me on Retrieve. You can search the guide for any term and if there is a match, you'll be taken to the lesson and time code where I am teaching about that thing. So this is especially great when you need to refer back to a particular concept or method. For example, let's say you can't quite remember how to cut a clip. I know, simple, right? But unlike Premiere, there's no razor tool in After Effects. So you remember me teaching you how to do that, but you don't really remember which lesson or more specifically where in the lesson I was going over that. Well, you can search cut a clip in the search bar and you'll be taken to the exact point in the guide. If you don't remember how to do something, you don't have to skim through a bunch of lessons searching for that one thing. You can literally search for it and be taken right to what you're looking for. The search feature is made possible because each lesson is fully transcribed. And if English isn't your first language, each lesson is also translated into several different languages. What's even cooler is that if you prefer not to read subtitles, you can also watch the lessons with the audio of the other languages. That means you can watch me teach you about the intricacies of Dynamic Link in stupid sexy French. Intérieur de votre chronologie en just listen to that. Bet you never thought learning After Effects could be so romantic. The last feature that I'm personally really excited about is the chat feature. This chat feature will allow me to answer your questions in a way that I just can't do in the YouTube comment section. I got my first job as an editor more than 10 years ago. I quit my job at a call center and I started applying to as many editing jobs as I could. And guess what? I landed the first job I applied to and I didn't land it because I had a fancy college degree or because my editing skills blew anybody's mind. I landed that job because I had one shot at the end of my reel that had some motion graphics. This is your sign to finally make this year the year that you add After Effects to your editor's tool belt and start landing more jobs, impressing more clients, and making cooler edits. Go sign up at keyframeacademy.retrieve.com or follow the link in the description. If you like this video, make sure you hit that like button. It really helps me in the algorithm. If you want more content like this and more lessons on After Effects, make sure you're subscribed with that bell notification turned on. And if you have any ideas for videos in the future, make sure you leave those ideas in the comment section 